Welcome to a little bit of Florida here in California. Disney is a guest in Florida. Today, we remind them. 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 Pull up a chair. Welcome into episode 96 of Inside 300. I'm your host, Brian Perry. We've got a kid climbing the temple over at Coronado Springs. Plus, the governor of Colorado said, Hey, Disney, forget Florida. Leave. Come to me. Will never happen. But we'll talk about it in the next 300 seconds right now. Termination of all special districts that were enacted in Florida prior to 1968, and that includes the Reedy Creek Improvement District. Dissolve Reedy Creek? What does that mean? Well, you're not alone, so grab a pen and paper. Here's everything you need to know about the ongoing feud between the mouse and the state of Florida. For pretty much all of 2022, Disney and Florida have been at war, culminating in the ongoing Reedy Creek debacle down at Walt Disney World. For those who are not familiar, Florida legislator passed a bill Thursday that would essentially eliminate the special legal setup that allows Disney to operate as an independent government, a.k.a. Goodbye Reedy Creek. Now, what is Reedy Creek? Well, as author Rick Fogelson once wrote, think of it like the Vatican, but with mouse ears. Special privileges, if you will. For over 50 years, Disney World has been self-governed, meaning the company is responsible for providing municipal services, such as generating power, running water, hiring a fire department. And by doing so, they're actually giving a huge break to taxpayers in Osceola and Orange County because those residents don't have to pay taxes towards those municipal services on Disney property, which keep in mind is twice the size of Manhattan. Disney obviously had to benefit from all this as well, and by creating the Reedy Creek Improvement District, they were able to avoid having to get approval from the counties and state every single time they wanted to build an attraction or even add a lane to widen a road. In fact, having Reedy Creek approved back in 1967 was part of the reasoning Disney chose Florida as their next tourist location after Anaheim. Now with the bill passed, Reedy Creek is on the table to dissolve in the middle of 2023 and all those municipal services like the aforementioned fire department and water will become parts of the counties, costing taxpayers an arm and a leg. So why after over 50 years is this an issue today? Well, look no further than the budding feud between Disney and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. You see, DeSantis took issue with Disney flip-flopping their stance on the now-dubbed Don't Say Gay Bill. Current CEO Bob Chapek initially sent an internal email to employees explaining why the company was not publicly challenging the bill, only to essentially panic and backtrack after the email sparked honestly far more outrage than if he had said nothing to begin with. So Chapek changes his stance, keep in mind, mainly because of how the email was received by his employees, and publicly states that Disney thinks DeSantis' bill is unethical. DeSantis gets offended over the fact that Disney flip-flopped and is now challenging the conservative bill publicly. The governor calls Disney out, labeling them as woke, and essentially goes to war with the mouse. DeSantis claims that Disney shouldn't have the ability to self-govern within the state. Disney says, yeah, but we made a deal with you guys in the 60s that lets us do so. And oh, by the way, if you get rid of Reedy Creek, it's going to hurt your residents. And here we are today. Next door neighbor Universal Studios does not have a special district, which in turn means that taxpayers were partially responsible for funding the $100 million plus expansion of the busy Kirkman Road, which will help connect Universal to their upcoming third park. The whole thing is a circus. Orange County tax collector Scott Randolph says that it costs roughly just over $100 million a year to operate Reedy Creek. On top of that, the county, along with Osceola County, would be taking on potentially $1 billion in bond debt, things that Disney currently is responsible for. Disney swallows the debt because of the theme park revenue they generate, something that couldn't simply be brushed under the magic carpet if it fell on family homes in Florida. Things have gotten so wild that Colorado Governor Jared Polis has invited Disney to move to Colorado and make a new place called Mountain Disneyland just to get out of Florida. Ah, politics. Brings everyone together. Hope that caught you up. Okay, what do you say we head over to Coronado Springs and check out this footage of a child going all YOLO, saying you only live once and scaling the temple or ziggurat near the main pool area by Grand Destino Tower. Not gonna lie, kinda jealous. I'd never do it, because it's against the rules, so don't get any ideas. Mickey's always watching, but the views 
The views were probably top notch. The kid ended up all right after an adult scaled the wet 50 foot tall structure himself to grab the child. If you do want to see some remarkable views in the area and follow the rules, head over to the aforementioned Grand Destino Tower where they have an outdoor bar area on the top level. And if heights and views aren't your thing, the pool area where the temple is located is also home to a white sand volleyball court and Disney's largest hot tub. That's going to do it for this episode of Inside 300. If you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. That way you're notified every time we release new videos. For Brian, I'm China. See you next time. Bye-bye.